Hi, I'm Pronago, and this video is going to show you how to install version 1.16.1 of StarCraft Brood War. And uh, the reason why you would want to do this is to experience the old mods and even some of the old maps that require the old version of the game. You can still connect to multiplayer using uh, the iCup server, which I will also go over how to apply in case you are curious, but it's very simple. Um, I'll have some links in the description, uh, just follow along as you watch the video. The first link we're going to go to is the mega link, which actually includes version 1.16.1 in a RAR file. It is about 1.2 gigabytes, so it will take some time to download. Don't close your browser while you download it, and hit this gray button, unless you use Megasync, in which case I don't, I don't know why you would, but I guess some people do. Once we've got it downloaded, we can return to our desktop where I've, you see I've already prepared it. Uh, you'll have to use WinRAR or 7-Zip or some other uh, RAR viewer to extract the folder onto wherever you want to put it. And you can actually put this folder anywhere you want as long as you have read and write privileges in that folder, in that vert like area of your hard drive. Uh, most people will just decide to put it in their program files, which is where they install like version 118 if you have it. Um, but that's not really necessary for this, so if you wanted to organize it differently, you could. Opening 1.16.1's folder, you'll see that it's a complete installation. It's completely blank, no profiles, no progress in the campaigns, uh, but it's got all of the default maps that ship with Brood War, and it has um, some fixes for when you're running windowed mode mods. Um, these DLL files down here will... Uh, enable and fix an issue with the original windowed mode plugin made by Zeno somebody. I see his name all the time whenever I launch the windowed mode. It's probably pretty embarrassing that I don't already know what that is. I won't start the StarCraft executable because it will launch in full screen uh, since you can't, well, you can use windowed mode, but you usually need iCup or some other dumb thing that I haven't hooked up for the sake of this tutorial. So uh, rest assured, though, it is 116.1. It'll say in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen once you start it. You'll see the classic StarCraft splash and everything. Now, uh, from this point onward, you can probably figure out everything you need to do by yourself. But just in case you're a complete layman and you haven't really messed around with this stuff before, I will include more detailed instructions on how to do it. So here we've got the maps folder. This is where you put your SCMs and SCXs, these, uh, these files here, uh, that are, are actually files that are that just contain the maps. So big ones usually have lots of audio in them, such as inconsummates, for example. We'll go to uh, grab the first mission of Inconsummate, we'll copy and paste it in here. Oh, I already did that earlier, so whatever, I'll just replace it. And now we've got this mission in. So we will be able to select the first mission of Inconsummate in the actual uh, project. Like once we launch the game, we'll be able to select that. And I'll show you where to do that as well. It's under single player. Um, though you shouldn't be playing in consummate without the mod, keep that in mind. So in consummate is my campaign project. I'm using it for the t sake of this tutorial. So when you have a mod and you haven't initially set up, uh, of, like firegraph mods, executable files that actually inject their changes into the executable, you are going to get a screen that looks like this. If you click a mod, and nothing happens, or you at least don't get this screen, and uh, you don't see any confirmation or whatever, that is because you have installed version 1.18 of the game. Now, don't, don't panic. This is perfectly normal for it to do something like that. All you have to do is find your 1.18 version and uh, click on it and rename it, the, the folder or the StarCraft EXE inside, to something different, something that isn't just StarCraft, then the mod will look for the right um, the right EXE. It'll ask you to specify it even, and you can decide which one you want. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go to the Brood War folder that I just uh, have been showcasing this entire time, and I'm going to click on StarCraft.exe, and as you can see, this little window pops up. It says, do you want to play in windowed mode? You can do yes or no. I'll do yes because screw trying to do anything else. And I'll even hit this 2x button to make it nice and big. So you can see down here, version 
And we clearly have a modded file since we can see the, uh, I'll, I'll crank the music even. All right, that's too loud. But you know, the music's there, everything's here. We can press E or click and we have a new character name. So haha, -ha, I'm a video on YouTube. Oh, well, I couldn't fit the YouTube. All right, well, now we can see everything's everything's good. So I've even highlighted play custom in the mod uh, just to make it as obvious as possible where you're supposed to go. Uh, but once you do that, we can go up one level and scroll all the way down and, oh, look, Act of God, the first mission of Inconsummate, it's here. We've, we've moved it in. So all you have to do is move the file into your maps folder and then it will appear. I mean, for organizational purposes, you can create a folder called Inconsummate or Campaigns or whatever and move your maps there. If you have other maps you want to play, uh, most of the time if you download a map over Battle.net, it'll appear in a folder called Download. Um, which isn't here by default since I haven't played on Battle.net with this yet. But if you do that, then you can, um, obviously you can just use the maps there and, and even open them up in the editor and, and all that good stuff. But um, when you are in the process of first setting up 116.1, that's obviously not going to be there. So you'll have to move your maps, your individual files into the directory manually. So... There you go. That's uh, that's my spiel about that. But we don't really need to showcase the actual campaign. Plenty of videos on YouTube already do that. So this should basically iron out all of the problems you may or may not have when you're trying to install 1.16.1. Now, if you've already done the download through iCup, then you already have the iCup launcher. But if you don't have the iCup launcher, then all you need to do is go to uh, just Google icup.com and start playing. Uh, no, we don't need Dota. Oh, I think I, it, it directed me to the Dota one. Let's do StarCraft. Where are we get? I'm sure it's here somewhere. How to start playing StarCraft, big question mark. All right, so, uh, blah, 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 blah. So find a link to the iCup launcher. This is admittedly more goofy than I thought it would be. Is there not just a download for the launcher? Hold on. Ah, the site is crashing. I've hacked into the Russian mainframe and I am leaking Donald Trump's, uh, I don't know, I'm leaking his entire son into the Russian embassy or something. Can you load? No. No, it's, it's just done. Okay, maybe I got it. No, I definitely didn't. Well, eventually the site will loan. Oh, here we go. Maybe. Oh, here, yep, this is it. This is the reg file, registry file. So you just download this. And... The iCup launcher. Oh, it just takes you to the iCup launcher. There you go. Then you download the launcher. You keep it. You set it up. I'm not going to do it. I already have it installed. There you go. So it's icup.com forward slash files dot HTML. I'll throw that link in the description as well. So there you go. You can download that and you will be all set. Uh, hopefully this video tutorial was helpful for you and uh, I try to keep it short. So hopefully you can install and enjoy all of the wonderful mods that we have. And if you wanna join startit.net's mod night, I have a link to that thread in the description as well. And it's very easy to join. It even has like just the registry file if you don't wanna use the iCup launcher. Um, it has the link there somewhere. So come play mods with us. We play every weekend, Friday and Saturday. Um, we'll probably play randomly throughout the day as well. It doesn't have to be those two days. And uh, you know, this, we're in the process of migrating old mods to 1.16.1, um, but you can also grab a downgrader from Google and go even lower than 1.16.1 back to like the 2005 version of the game for some of the older mods that we haven't yet migrated. If you have any suggestions for mods, you can go to moddb.com, find the StarCraft section. I'll throw a link in that. Fuck it, I'll, I'll just link to everything. I'll link to free money in the description too. Click that, click those links and uh, play StarCraft and enjoy StarCraft and uh, register an account on startup.net and uh, send me money on PayPal or something. I don't know. Just uh, construct more pylons and stuff. All right, that's it. Bye.